Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, this is Naveen from UEvidence. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, a new event called change event. Uh, for change event, we have a nice example. What is that is, we have a select box. Okay, In select box, whatever the option you have select, the same option I want to display dynamically on the page. Okay, So the plan is going to be like this. If I I want to make a simple uh, select box here okay uh, so this select box will have a lot of uh, options right you have all the options in this way okay you will be having a lot of options here and whatever the option I have selected in the select box that option I want to display beside the select box okay so this whole thing i want to do with uh, actually bootstrap okay bootstrap means actually i made a card and a column setup so two columns i want to display side by side okay so let's make this example now and then uh, first we'll make a design and then uh, we'll convert to javascript dom manipulation okay so we have already taken a bootstrap setup previous class so copy the folder uh, i will do one thing i paste here so I have to change this 16 underscore js underscore change event select box okay so change event on a select box okay just close all other things uh, index.html what to change is it is change event change event on select box okay so same thing i want to write for my navbar and done so app.js everything is okay app.js everything is empty yeah so let me open this on my uh, live server okay fine so let's make a card setup uh, to do this and then we'll convert to dom so first of all uh, i will make a comment change event on select box so here I just like one container let's make some margin bottom 3 container 1 row single call md 8 I take and here one card card header card body card header with bg uh, bg primary and text uh, white some h3 change events yeah and below this in the card body i will um, do one thing i write one row because i need two columns so first column and second column okay two columns so first column I'll just make a form uh, if you don't want to write bootstrap you can write normal HTML and CSS but I just want to make a look and feel using bootstrap so uh, here I write division the class called uh, form uh, form group I write select box uh, select box with the class what form control I have an options option value just say select select a language okay uh, let's make multiple set a language one is html okay css this is javascript this is react this is angular okay so let's make a value also same copy paste so copy this and paste copy this and paste okay so you got all these uh, values fine so my plan is if i select uh, html i display html when i select javascript i display javascript here so to display at what i do is in the next column i write some h2 tag uh, i write some css okay just timing you got css 
so okay so if i select javascript that has to be display here uh, so now okay setup ready uh, plan is can we change some bg bg lights okay fine looks good we can change something here okay uh, fine so setup ready uh, now my thing is whatever i'm selecting i want to display here see you are selecting something here it means uh, a change event on your select box so select box should have an id and uh, i want to display this text dynamically right so this text also having an id so two elements involved in dom manipulation both needs an id so select box let's make an id uh, id is something lang language select okay id and then uh, here id let's say um, language minus option okay some id okay this is lang select and this is lang option uh, as of now i don't need to display anything so nothing here so let's make event handling on select box so event handling means first you have to get the element how to get the elements id copy that back to here change event on select box so let's uh, select box is equal to document dot query selector of hash paste and add an event so select box dot add event listener what is that change event so when you're changing an option is called change event and comma second option second parameter is a function okay you made it uh, if you want to check the logic you can do an alert okay so selected an option okay let's see is that coming or not so go back when i select html yes selected an option select something got it so it is working okay next uh, uh now my plan is if i select html html display here first of all i have to get the html so same like yesterday's uh, i mean last video if you want to select any form data form value or form field data is dot value same here also each options value so let's say selected option is equal to select to box dot value last class we discussed text box that value right select box that value so this is your selected option and this option where you display here i want display so what is the element uh, that element is lang option so let me get this element also so here let's uh, let's say option let's take like this language option element i just take el okay is equal to document dot query selector of hash id so i got that element so for this element my option to be attached so how to attach is inner text so language option el dot inner text is equal to selected option Okay, so what is the option I selected? The same thing I want to attach as a inner text here. So what are you right? Dynamically display here. Let's see now. So so logic is done. Let's check. If I select HTML, I got HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React.js, AngularJS. If I don't select, it is empty. Okay, fine. And it is coming based on a the value. This one. So this can be anything. Okay. So this value must be, uh, I mean, this value sends to the server actually. So you should be very careful. But when I select select language, nothing is coming over here, right? Why? Because its value is empty. Okay. So if I say something called my name, then what happens? I show you. If I select that, see my name is coming. Okay. So it must be empty. So value must import. This is for display purpose and this is for the value actually sent to the server you have made actually the dot value right 
that value nothing but this value okay fine uh, so we made a logic and you want to change the color uh, that's very simple uh, here a class called text white so it is in white color fine so this is actually a change event on select class so that's it and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll make in the next video for the next example thank you